today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video. I just checked my mail and I got this love package from the Robert Cheek, co-author of the brand new New York Times best-selling book, The Plant-Based Athlete. So I'm about halfway through this book. I highly recommend it. I am loving it. And he had a special offer that if you pre-bought the book by a certain deadline, then he would send you a package in the mail full of vegan goodies. So I'm totally excited. I just busted the seal on this and I'm gonna be unpacking it with you guys. I thought it'd be something fun to do uh, so that you guys could see just how many awesome vegan products there are out there. I know when I first went vegan six years ago, it was uh, quite the hunt to find vegan products. I was so unfamiliar with what to eat and what I could eat and I knew what I couldn't eat. But uh, it's been a journey and fast forward till today, there is a vegan version of everything. And I find that there is an excellent vegan version of everything because not always have there been tasty vegan options. Uh, unless you were a whole food plant-based vegan, which is what I'm more of today, which is uh, your whole food vegetables, fruits, whole grains, legumes, beans, and whatnot, uh, very minimally processed food, which I think tastes delicious. But there are also packaged foods, convenience foods that are 100% vegan. So let's dive in and see what some of them are. First thing we have, is plant fusion this looks like a meal replacement shake so this one is non-gmo verified which i love it is chocolate caramel flavored vegan dairy free gluten free non-gmo willie i'm trying to do a video here you're gonna squeak the whole time willie is squeaking his squeak toy so i apologize i might have to take that away from him but i don't want to he'll be sad so this is plant fusion complete meal. It's got 20 grams of plant protein. So if you're an athlete, this is a great thing on the go. I personally do not consume any protein powders except for if I'm at a smoothie place that has a vegan protein powder option or uh, every now and again, I'll eat one of those Larbar protein bars. But other than that, I don't, I don't do any protein powder I just don't feel the need to, but that's awesome. Oh, the Nooch. Got some nutritional yeast by Foods Alive. So this is non-fortified, which means it's uh, like not fortified with any B12. I have a bag in my kitchen that is fortified with B12. So this is an awesome thing to use on popcorn for that cheesy flavor, but I throw it, I can throw it on a lot of things. I like to put it I like to mix it with my mustard if I have it with potato wedges and I like to throw it on some edamame sometimes in addition to Himalayan pink salt. Nooch aka nutritional yeast is a vegan staple so I'm very happy to see that in there. It's also non-GMO, kosher, gluten-free, all the good stuff. That's awesome. Oh so, excuse me if I'm pronouncing this wrong, Artisana Organics Raw Pecan Butter with Cashews. This is completely organic and non-GMO verified, certified raw, certified clean. It's uh, just your little single packet. So that's awesome. What a great way to try some pecan butter. I know that those uh, pecan pie lar bars are super awesome, so I can only imagine some pecan butter would be super good oh I've heard of this brand before it's called Four Sigmatic they make some uh, awesome mushroom coffees and mushroom teas so Four Sigmatic apparently has a plant based protein with superfoods this one is repair and unflavored has 18 grams of plant protein 1500 milligrams of mushrooms and adaptogens. I'm a huge fan of that. I drink uh, mud water. I actually stopped drinking coffee about three or four months ago and replaced it with mud water, which is full of mushrooms and adaptogens. So I'm highly interested in trying this out. 
gluten-free, so soy-free, and no gums or fillers. This looks nice and crunchy. Munchy crunchy protein snacks. I like that. This one is chillin' chipotle flavored. Nut-free, gluten-free, only four net carbs. Toasted with whole beans. So this looks like a mix, ooh, my favorite edamame, with uh, some, some seasoning on it. And dried edamame, I find, is a super good crunchy replacement to like potato chips. And edamame is so full of protein, more than any other bean, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So, man, I'm pretty stoked about that one. Uh, I've heard of this before. Fruise balls. If I'm not mistaken, these are kind of like, uh, yeah, date. Date and cashew butter. I was going to say peanut butter, but these are cashew butter. So this is blueberry crumble flavored, which if you know me, I have blueberries every day in my oatmeal. So I'm a huge blueberry fan. This just has apple juice, dates, coconut, apple puree, sunflower seeds, blueberry puree, pear puree. And these are kind of like a dessert to me anyways. So... I would think if you put these in the freezer, I bet they would be delicious. They seem to have uh, melted just a tad in the mail, but that's okay. Fruise balls. Man, there's so much stuff in here. I'm so excited. Primal spirit. Oh, I can smell this. I don't know if that's gross or not, but primal spirit vegan jerky. This is also non-GMO and this is uh, mesquite lime flavor. Check that out. There definitely were not a lot of vegan jerkies on the market when I first went vegan and it's crazy to see just how many brands there are out there today. So that's awesome. I, w I, w I was kind of a fan of, of jerky before I went vegan, but not crazy about it. It's good that there's options. All right, we have Ultima Replenisher Electrolyte Hydration Mix. This is uh, just a little, kind of like a replacement for Gatorade, which is full of sugar. So instead, we have a vegan and non-GMO verified electrolyte hydration replenisher that you can just add to water, and shake or stir, and you're good to go. It's sweetened with stevia. Is this... I guess, uh, oh, it's a variety pack, so there's different flavors in there. I can see the colors on the bottom. That's pretty cool. A little sample pack. Man, this is so cool, Robert. Thank you so much. We have Elite Protein, another protein powder, plant-based formula, real meal replacement, easy digestion. It's a complete protein, which... If you're vegan, you know that if you're eating a variety of foods, you're going to get those amino acids to form complete proteins, so you don't have to worry about that. What I like is that there's no sugar added and that it's non-GMO verified. No gluten, dairy, eggs, peanuts, lactose, sucrose, dextrose, or animal byproducts. That's what we like to hear. And it looks like it's mainly it's pea protein and hemp protein. Um, I'm a pretty fan of chocolate flavor your chocolate heads so check that out oh this one I have had organic protein the smoothie place in town actually uses this in their smoothies as the vegan option so this one has 21 grams of protein vanilla bean flavored which I think is the exact same as that smoothie place so I can attest to the flavor of this. It's very good. Uh, this one is pea protein, brown rice protein, and chia seed with some other ingredients. But uh, this one is super tasty and I find that it does not have that uh, chalky aftertaste and it blends so nice with oat milk and almond milk, which I've had it in both. So definitely check out Orgain, Organic Protein, completely plant-based good stuff right here. I love seeing that organic uh, label on there even though I don't trust it completely but it's better than non-organic. 
Here we have Zesty Taco. I'm a big fan of Mexican cuisine, so this is exciting. By Longev, Longev brand. Plant-based protein crumbles, traditional spice blend for Mexican meals in minutes. So this has 20 grams of protein per serving, is non-GMO verified. Basically, just seems like uh, some crispies for your uh, taco toppings and whatnot. Maybe I'll throw these on a chipotle bowl or chipotle style bowl. Man, that, that sounds really good. And I've never heard of this brand or product, so super exciting. And there's so much stuff in here. This is like Christmas for me. Oh, pasta. Good day pasta. And it's like, uh, it's not exactly rotini, but it's, they call it ruffles. I love pasta that is like rotini or uh, in this kind of shape. I just feel like it's got some not good mouthfeel and holds the sauce so good. Man, oh, another use for your nutritional yeast is to add it to pasta sauce. It gives it that nice creamy flavor. So this is just a, looks like a whole wheat pasta, high in fiber. Maybe it's not whole wheat, but it's uh, wheat flour, chickpea protein, it's got some soy, pea protein in there. So just a high protein pasta, and pasta is so versatile, you can make a lot of plant-based sauces to go on top of it, from your basic marinara to a vegan vodka sauce. The possibilities are endless. And they make so many good vegan cheeses that you can melt on top. Lily boy, can you give give me a little break here? I'm trying to make a video. You wanna come say hey? Come here. Let me see. Let me see your toy. This is the culprit right here. Pasta. Oh, it looks like we have uh oh man. Look at all these coupons. Oh my gosh, so many coupons. JoJo's, Rise, oh gosh. Looks like we have some Beyond breakfast sausage and Beyond, Beyond meat coupons, Beyond sausage. If you're transitioning or curious about a plant-based vegan diet, definitely check out the Beyond products because I've heard that they are just like meat, taste-wise and feel and everything. So definitely check that out. Oh, we got a Hodo coupon. This is actually the brand of tofu that Chipotle uses for their sofritas. Definitely check out the sofritas at Chipotle. That's how I transitioned uh, off of meat. I was a big chicken fan, so the sofritas bowls at Chipotle really just helped me ease into the vegan diet. Got some follow your heart coupons. They make some awesome vegan cheese and uh, the vegan mayonnaise called ve veganaise. Some people call it veganaise. <laughs> Upton's Naturals. I've also tried them. Uh, they make like, if I'm not mistaken, like uh, chorizo and bacon, all vegan, made from plants. Oh, here's what I like to see right here. Some Suja coupons. They make some cold pressed juices that are off the chizane. And uh, they make uh, little shots too and other products, but I'm a big fan of actually that juice right there uber greens and there's also i think daily dozens i love those green juices they are top-notch quality this is oh some of that munchy that munchy crunchy protein that i just showed you there's a coupon for that or online offer Lil bucks sprouted buckwheat so this is like a topper smoothie topper or crunchy granola and super seed and they got a little shout out to the plant-based athlete right there. This is uh, 10 bucks off my order. Oh, vegan strong. This is my peeps over at uh, Muscles by Brussels radio podcast. I listen to them on the regular, usually when I work out. That's Danny Taylor and Giacomo Marchese. 
and vegan strong stickers oh man i'm super stoked about these and they have an awesome uh community on facebook they have that podcast i just mentioned they have they're on all the social media they have some programs that you can get into if you're interested i think they have a 17 day overhaul right now actually that's them right there check them out on instagram and whatnot i'll put their handles below but uh vegan strong definitely big fans of them oh man that's so cool and this is a little letter from robert cheek and matt fraser who are the authors of this awesome book right here so i kind of opened the coupon uh, maybe i should have done that first or last but i did it just then so we'll finish up we'll see what else is in here oh i think uh oh yes plants have all the protein you need that's so cool more stickers i love it so that fell out of there we have a couple more things raw rev glow this is a uh, gluten-free non-gmo peanut butter dark chocolate and sea salt bar that sounds decadent and it feels nice and moist uh, yeah i'm one of those uh, people that likes to feel food i think it comes from uh me checking if fruit is ripe or not you gotta feel it you know you gotta feel it you gotta smell it this one is a chocolate pb protein bar soft and tasty see i told you you gotta feel it if it's soft that means usually it's good so this is non-gmo verified as well i'm not familiar with this uh, brand or product got 15 grams of protein per bar oh see this i have seen in stores lenny and larry's complete cookie these are completely vegan uh, i know they're available in almost every grocery store i go to this one is double chocolate this has 16 grams of protein per cookie 10 grams of fiber non-gmo verified no soy no dairy no egg kosher no high fructose syrup no artificial sweeteners zero sugar alcohols sustainable palm oil so if you're into desserts maybe try this out this isn't exactly my type of uh grub but that is really cool and then another sticker in here man so that's it look at all these great vegan products oh man i'm in love with this whole goodie bag I'm going to try to link some of this below, but it's a lot of stuff. So if you saw something you like, just, you know, go back in the video and check it out. Be sure to follow these companies on all the social media. Just give them some love. Try them out. And thank you so much to Robert Cheek and Matt Fraser, authors of The Plant-Based Athlete the first book to connect the benefits of a plant-based diet with peak athletic performance and like i said i'm loving this book i'm a little more than halfway through it's got tons of proof scientific evidence-based proof it's got testimonies from some of the most elite athletes of our time i highly suggest it Thank you for joining me today. I hope you've had fun with this video. If you did, give me that like. It really helps me out. Please share this with somebody who might find it useful. Tell Willie next video to leave the squeak toy <laughs> away. And thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more interesting content. Until next time, keep growing. Well, your girl loves edamame, so I'm about to try the Munchy Crunchy Protein Snacks. That's my uh, snack of choice from that whole box. Mmm, oh yeah, I'm eating this whole bag. That's good stuff right there. Munchy Crunchy for sure. It's got a nice flavor too. You can taste the paprika for sure. Though it says Chipotle, it's not, not really hot at all. More, uh, smoky, savory.
I'm getting. Oh man, these are good. Good stuff. 